Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, March twenty second, twenty twenty two. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. This is episode five hundred and fifteen, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. Now, before we get started today, I wanted to share with you guys something that arrived in the mail a few days ago, and it's my YouTube Silver Creator Award for passing a hundred thousand subscribers. You know, when I was a kid, I had this dream of walking up the stage at the Academy Awards and delivering my speech after winning something. It goes something like, "I want to thank the Academy. I want to thank my fellow nominees and my producers, and yada yada yada." At this point of my life, that seems like a rather distant dream. You know, it might still happen. You know, who knows? But. For now, this is my "I want to thank the Academy" moment. Except it's "I want to thank the subscribers, you guys, essentially, for making this award possible for me." I'm gonna put it right there for now. I'm gonna just put that there for now, and maybe find it a home some other time. Okay, on with the show. In today's episode, Wild Bloom with Zhao Liying releases its first batch of official character posters. Simon Gong and Elaine Zhang are accused of violating epidemic restrictions. Tan Jianchi's response when asked about a second season of Under the Skin. And Liu Tao shuts down divorce rumors. And we usually begin with dramas that have recently premiered, but nothing to report for today and yesterday. So we begin with some rap news. But before we do that, just to say that the Blue Whisper season two is rumored for an April sixth release. I'll keep my eye on that and update again if it gets confirmed. And unfortunately, still no official word on when or if season one's ever gonna air with subs. Liza Fitzmaurice left a comment in my last video that she read in a Facebook group that Croton Mega Hit has the rights and will air it with English subs on April twenty second. Thank you for that, Liza. Croton Mega Hit is a channel on YouTube, and they have been streaming the Blue Whispers trailers. I think I speak for many when I say I hope that Facebook group is right, even though April twenty second is quite far away. But better late than never. All right, rap news. Word on the Weibo sphere is that Wallace Chung has wrapped filming on The Emperor's Love. The Emperor's Love has kept things on the down low since they started filming reportedly back in November. There were no official pictures of the booting ceremony. Most pictures on social media of Wallace Chung and his co-star Crystal Yuan are unofficial ones. They both look great in costume, if you ask me. Yesterday, word spread that Wallace had wrapped after around four months of filming. According to Douban, he plays the emperor's uncle, who's also the leader of a mysterious sect in the pugilistic world. Crystal Yuan plays an outstanding doctor who pretends to be crazy and foolish to protect herself. The drama co-stars Jason Gu and Zhang Yue. Also rapping on a drama recently was Roy Wang of the boy group TF Boys. He rapped on the drama Bright. Bright is an upcoming modern drama starring Guo Jingfei, Ren Ming, and Roy Wang. They started filming in early February. According to Baidu, the drama follows a former teacher played by Guo Jingfei who goes back to teaching after his business venture fails. He meets a group of teenagers and impacts their lives in brilliant ways. Roy Wang rapped on March 16th. He plays one of Guo Jingfei's character students. Since production only started filming last month, it might be a while yet before everyone else raps. And lastly, for rap news, Bai Jingting and Tian Xiwei rapped filming on their latest drama yesterday. That's according to this Sina article published yesterday. Titled "New Life Begins," the costume drama has kept things on the down low. But here are some of the pictures published by Sina to indicate that the cast and crew have wrapped. According to Baidu, "New Life Begins" is an imperial court drama that covers marriage, gender, and rebellion issues. Bai Jingting last starred in "Reset," and Tian Xiwei was in "My Faded Boy." 
And that's it for rap news, moving on, an update on Wild Bloom. Wild Bloom is an upcoming retro drama starring Zhao Liying and Oh Hao, and they recently published their first set of official character posters. The drama started filming in October last year and wrapped filming a little over a week ago. As Baidu explains it, the drama is set in the 90s and tells the story of an ambitious and courageous woman played by Zhao Liying, who immerses herself into the steel business, a business full of chauvinistic and condescending men. Oh Hao plays one of her business partners as they start their first scrap steel and transport company. Li Guangjie also co-stars. Wild Bloom should still be in post-production at the moment. More updates on it as they provide them. Moving on, Simon Kung and Elaine Cheng recently had to deal with a little bit of negative publicity. This article by media outlet Wa is titled, Knowingly Breaking the Law? Simon Kung and Elaine Chung's crew bombarded for allegedly violating epidemic restrictions. Their drama releases a statement to clarify, but folks are still suspicious. Simon Kung and Elaine Chung star in the upcoming modern drama, Rising with the Wind. They held their booting ceremony in December last year and have been filming since then. On March 17th, some netizens accused the two stars of violating epidemic restrictions while filming in Qingdao City. In some leaked video footage, Simon and Elaine are seen following some staff members into what looks like a Korean restaurant. According to Wa, Simon asks, We won't be photographed, right? I'm afraid of being photographed. Elaine responds, We won't be photographed if we sit on this side. Right now, Qingdao does not allow dine-in. This footage led to netizens accusing the two stars of knowingly violating restrictions, acting like big shots, and having celebrity privileges. The Rising with the Wind team responded to this by issuing a statement to say that the restaurant was closed and they'd rented the entire place for the cast and crew to rest and eat in. They added that the footage was irresponsibly leaked and the person responsible for that had been released from duty. Later, Simon Studio also released a statement to apologize anyway, and to say that they will continue to abide by all the restrictions. Despite the drama's attempts at a clarification, some netizens remained suspicious and said that the drama was just making excuses for its two stars. Some questioned why Simon would be worried about being photographed if it was indeed a closed area. My two cents on this is that I believe the drama statement. First off, it's very common for productions to book entire restaurants or other places of business for their cast and crew to rest in. And if we look at these pictures again, there's practically no one in there but the actors and some staff members. I highly doubt that Simon and Elaine would just walk into a random restaurant without their masks. That would be asking for a mob scene. And why would Simon be worried about being photographed? Well, paparazzi photographers can be extremely stealthy and skilled with their super infinity zoom lenses. Even in closed private areas, if there's even a slight crack in a door or a window somewhere, they'll get the shot they want if they tried. According to Baidu, Rising with the Wind follows a clothing company heiress played by Elaine Chung, who loses her father and faces the possibility of losing her father's company as well. She meets a crude investor, played by Simon Gong, and he comes up with a plan to rescue her. And that's it for drama news. Moving on, celebrity news, and we begin with a segment on Tan Jianchi. Here's a recent Sina article titled, Tan Jianchi responds to Under the Skin Season 2's progress, says he never reveals spoilers. Under the Skin aired its finale last week. I'd been wanting to start the drama for a while and I finally got around to it. I'm now four episodes in. As Ai Chi explains it, the drama follows a cop and a criminal profiler who team up to solve cases. The twist is that years ago, the criminal profiler painted a picture which inadvertently led to an undercover agent getting exposed and killed. In a recent interview, Tan Jianchi revealed that during Under the Skin's run, he was badgered by friends and family with questions, but says that he never reveals spoilers. He also addressed the issue of a second season for the drama, explaining that they had not started filming. 
He said, I don't know about the producers. Whether or not season 2 will go ahead will depend on everyone's voices on season 1. The louder the voices, the likelier season 2 will happen. And lastly, for celeb news, Liu Tao shuts down divorce rumors. 43-year-old Liu Tao is an industry veteran with almost 50 drama credits to her name. Most recently, she starred in Vacation of Love Season 2. Most memorable for me was her role as Princess Ni Huang in 2015's Nirvana and Fire. Recently, rumors spread that her husband, businessman Wang Ke, had cheated on her, that they were splitting after 15 years of marriage, and that they were going to announce the divorce soon. On March 17th, Liu Tao responded through her studio by issuing a statement to shut down those rumors. She even listed out some of the social media accounts that were spreading the rumors and threatened legal action. She slapped a big red fake across many of their posts and urged the public not to spread false information. Liu Tao and her husband have gone through some tough times together. It's been reported in the past that he racked up a significant debt and that she worked tirelessly on several dramas to help him service it. Eventually, they pulled through it together. And on that note, it's Tuesday today, so time for another segment of Where's Mark Is At? So the title of the segment doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. I'm currently following three dramas. I'm on episode 16 of Vacation of Love Season 2 starring Liu Tao and Chen He. It's available on IQ.com with English subs. Still following this drama slowly, it's been sitting in the back burner for a while now, but I'm determined to finish it at some point. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm on episode 4 of Under the Skin starring Tan Jianchi and Jing Shijia. It's available on IQ.com with English subs. Many suggested I start this drama, so I did, and it's so far so good. And lastly, I'm on episode 4 of The Oath of Love starring Yang Zi and Xiao Chan. It's available on WeTV with English subs. Gotta balance out that darkness and suspense from under the skin with some sugar, so I started this one as well. And that's been another segment of Where's Mark Is At? It also brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!